With recent events, many of us are working from home, some for the very first time. Working from home and being connected to your company's projects, working interactively and sharing data with your team members can be challenging, but Bentley has your back with MicroStation and ProjectWise 365 services. ProjectWise 365 services are like a Dropbox where users can automatically have their local project files synced to the cloud while working, allowing a team of colleagues to work with the same sets of files. If you're a select subscriber and have access to the Connect Center, ProjectWise 365 services are available to you at no cost. And ProjectWise 365 services works in both versions of current MicroStation, the MicroStation Connect Edition and MicroStation V8i Select Series 10. This video takes a look at associating a local work set to a ProjectWise project. It'll take a real world workflow approach as I access the ProjectWise 365 services via the Connect Center. I'll create a shared folder in the ProjectWise project, set that folder for synchronization, and populate the folder with folders and files. Then I'll turn it over to my colleague, Tom Stogdell, who in turn will associate his local work set to the same ProjectWise project. He'll then synchronize his ProjectWise folder and then open a file within MicroStation complete his design, then synchronize his local file with the Azure-based shared folder. And finally, I'll open that same file, review his changes, and make a change of my own. A two-person, complete, start-to-finish workflow that you too can utilize when using MicroStation with ProjectWise 365 services. Let's begin by verifying that I'm signed in to Connection Client. And I have a local work set ready for use. I'll pick the work set's properties, advanced properties, followed by browse. Our first step in assigning our project wise project to our local work set is to either select an already existing project wise project or registering a new one. I'll pick register to create that project. Register takes me to the Bentley Cloud Services, the Project Register page, where I'll fill out the form with all the particulars of the project. Once filled out, I'll decide if I'll allow external team members that are outside of my organization. In this case, I will turn that on and select Register. Keep in mind that allowing external team members that are outside of your organization you may incur a charge for their access. Back in MicroStation, still in the Assign Project to Work Set dialog, I'll select Refresh. This will let the dialog update. I'll select All Projects and locate the correct project. In this case, I can type in the name. So I don't have to search for that project again. I'll simply add that as a favorite. I'll select it and hit Associate. You'll note the correct association here on the right side of the page. On the top, the properties displaying the work set properties. On the bottom, my project-wise project properties. These are the values I just registered. We're almost done, but currently only myself is a member of this ProjectWise project. I'll now invite other colleagues to become team members. This is done by accessing the Connect Center from the Connection Client or directly here in MicroStation via the personal portal. I'll select the Project tab on the ribbon, select my project which is listed as a favorite. This page is my information hub about my project, listing all available team members, any external members, and all my possible ProjectWise 365 services. I'll start by selecting Manage under Team Members to add team members to my project. 
I'll select Add Users, searching by name or email. In this case, I'll type the email address of my colleague. The email will locate him. I'll select Tom and add him. Tom will be notified of his addition as a team member via email and via the connection client notification. I can include a project invite message on the add team members dialog. I'll select add user to complete. Next, I'll need to create a folder for Tom and I to share data in. I'll go back to the project wise project page by selecting the project here. Then, under ProjectWise 365 Services, I'll select Share to set up the folder. Here, I'll create a brand new folder called MOT for maintenance of traffic. I'll open up the MOT directory and yet create another folder, in this case called Ref. I'll go back a directory to select the MOT directory and set this to be a synchronized folder. I'll select Set for synchronization. Next, I'll upload a few files to our shared directory using the Upload tool. Those files are then copied from my local directory to this shared directory. This is similar in use to OneDrive from Microsoft. To accommodate this new file sharing workflow using MicroStation and ProjectWise 365, the work set configuration file in MicroStation would need to be modified so that it can locate the correct DGN files and reference files that are included in the shared project wise project data. I'll open up this configuration file. We can set the variables that you see towards the end of the configuration file to include the folders that were created by the project wise project. The first variable, underscore USTN, underscore workset DGNs, is used to locate the project DGN files while the second variable, ms underscore rf dir, is used to locate the references that are used by the project DGN files. Keep in mind that this needs to be done by every project member, not just on my end, but on theirs as well. So Tom, as a member of this project, would need to do the same. But his path shown for both of those will still be users, but instead of my name, it will be his name followed by share. And finally, if reference files are not an issue, then this step isn't needed. Now, back in MicroStation, I have my work set, my project-wise project, my folders all created and synchronized. I'll pick Browse. Note the existence of project-wise share and the MOT directory, along with my reference files directory. From the MOT directory, I'll open up Highway 183. At this point, my colleague through email or notification from Connection Client might be aware of a project-wise project that we will both share, but I need to ensure that he sets it up correctly on his end. I'll communicate to Tom what needs to be done. My colleague Tom is ready to take over from here. Tom will associate his local work set to the ProjectWise project, just as I had done. He'll pick the ProjectWise project and the existing folder, and then set the folder to synchronize. Then, let's get to work making some design changes. Tom, it's all yours. Now that my colleague Sean has set up the project, from the connection client, I will need to pick Connect Center. And then, on the ProjectWise project page, selecting the new ProjectWise project. From ProjectWise 365 Services, I'm going to pick Share. From Share, I will then select the MOT folder and set it to Synchronize. Next, I'm going to start MicroStation, ensuring that I am signed into the connection client 
and selecting the same local work set as shown. I need to associate the local work set to the ProjectWise project. Here in the work page, I'm going to pick Properties, followed by Advanced Properties, and from the ProjectWise projects, click Browse. I can then navigate and select the ProjectWise project to assign to my work set. It is possible that I may need to refresh the page or even search for that ProjectWise project. Once the project has been located, I'll click the star to mark it as a favorite and then pick Associate. Back in MicroStation, note the local work set and its associated ProjectWise project. From here, I can click Browse, noting the addition of the ProjectWise share containing the MOT folder and its subfolders. At this point, I'm ready to make some changes to a design file. I'm now going to open the file Highway 183, adding geometry in the form of channelizer cones, construction barrels, and construction cones. With the changes complete, I can either wait for the changes to synchronize at the specified time interval or synchronize immediately. In the connection client, from the preferences, I'm going to pick Share and click Sync Now. My changes are then copied from my local users directory, here showing my company's standard user definition of firstname.lastname. The changes to the files are then copied to the cloud for syncing with my team members. I'm going to send Sean an email notifying him of my changes. Also note that he will receive a notification via the connection client. Well, thanks, Tom. So Tom's notified me of his design changes. I now need to review his changes, run a report based on his additions to the design file, and place that as a table based on a report into a quantity sheet. I'll open up the work set with its associated ProjectWise project. I'll browse to the correct DGN file in our shared folder via ProjectWise 365. And here in the 3D model, Tom has made his design changes. I can see that he added some construction cones, channelizer cones, and construction barrels. Now I'll jump into a quantity sheet. I'll place a table based on a report of what Tom added to the design file, all easily collaborated on via MicroStation and ProjectWise 365 sharing. Tom and I hope that this video is of use to you while using MicroStation along with ProjectWise 365 services as you work from home. And keep in mind that this is a free service for all Bentley Select subscribers. Remember that Bentley has your back as you work remotely during this difficult time. We're all here to help. Feel free to contact us with questions regarding this video. Thanks for watching.